Hey, today we're going to look at lighting. Elgato's lighting. Three different models. The key light air, the key light, and the ring light. Basically small, medium, and large, but not in that order. And we're going to talk about that and other things right now. All right, here they are. I'm going to call them small, medium, and large for a minute, but they're really not. And that's kind of part of the story here. And that's kind of what we're going to do today. We're going to look at all three of these lights. They are very popular for streamers, but they're also popular for other content creators. And I'm going to tell you why I invested in them. First of all, I didn't get them for free. Just to be clear, I'm not making money off of this. I don't have any affiliate links, at least right now. I don't. As of the time of filming this, I have got all three of them right here in my studio and it's to solve a few problems and maybe you have similar problems or maybe you just wondered why are these lights so damn expensive although i gotta say there are going to be an equal number of people saying why are these lights so inexpensive at the same time and that's kind of a paradox because you could put together a lighting set and i'm going to be doing some more follow-up videos on lighting because i've gone through the gambit of different lighting rigs from like ten dollar sets that you can get from uh, home depot to where i am now where this is 129 dollars for the air and the key light and the ring light are both 199. now i'm going to kind of jump ahead a little bit and tell you which ones are my favorites right now um and they all are in a way so i bought all three for a reason but if you had to choose one i'm going to tell you at least right now i'm going to sneak ahead to the ring light uh that's the one that is actually turned on right now the other two are back in the box this one actually i took out and used a couple times i just wanted to show you a little bit about what it's like to set it up this one i actually just purchased about an hour ago from best buy and i haven't unboxed it but i kind of already know what it's all about so we're going to talk about it and we're going to talk about why I've got all three and why I think if you're going to choose just one, the ring light may be the best of the three to choose. But, you know, there may be some combination of people wanting to have the air and I'll, we'll talk about conditions where that works better and the key light, which is a, a really great thing. So I want to talk about a little bit of each of these things. It's a big, deep subject to talk about lighting. I usually talk about sound. I talk a lot around about sound. But let's talk about lights, because when you're putting together uh, a channel like this, a streaming channel or just a podcast or for that matter, maybe just doing Zoom and you just don't want to look like the, the guy that's in his, you know, in a basement somewhere. You just want to look better. And there's nothing better uh, for making a video look good than having good lighting. And uh, I have again, I've gone through the gambit of other lights. So while without further ado, I just want to show you the sizes of the box to give you a little context. I mean, the, the ring light is in a massive box. I mean, this box is huge. It is a huge box. And when you open it up, there's a giant poster inside, which I guess I could show you. Um, and by the way, we're going to talk about some other Elgato products in, in, the, in the coming uh, episodes. Uh, I also have their... Um, collapsible expandable green screen uh which by the way is kind of weird for me because i'm in a studio where i literally painted the walls blue over here and the wall on the other side is actually completely painted green and you may be wondering if you've been watching my other channel where i've been shooting on a green screen for years why on earth would you buy a collapsible green screen we can just stand in front of the wall and well, part of it's because I'm crazy, but we're going to do that in another video. So stick around if you haven't subscribed. So here's some things that you get here. So you open this box up, and there is a giant poster. <laughs> they all come with a big poster type thing. It tells you how to set it up. And I'm going to talk about the setup itself. Oh, and by the way, you have two cameras here. Hey, camera number two, because there's a lot of stuff to show, and I don't think I'd do it all with one camera. So you're going to maybe... In the post-production, I'll switch back and forth between the two. All right, so so... Let's talk about what do you get, what do you not, what do you do, what is this all about? So let me say one thing. If you're using the key light, and I'm gonna take that sucker out of the box too, and I guess that would be something like, hey, even though it's an unboxing video, maybe I should have unboxed it <laughs> ahead of time. Uh, but I, I did unbox this one once, and for some crazy reason, people love unboxing videos on YouTube. So I decided, hey, let's put it back in the box. So I already know what's in the box. And again, there's another one of those big posters to tell you how to set it up. 
right. Oh, boy. And, and by the way, they really didn't need to make it that big, but they did. It's the size of the box. And hey, you know what? I could use this as an illustrative thing for the things that are already in the box. So that's kind of cool. So let's go back to the poster on the first one. This will give you one of the reasons why I liked and why I ordered this particular lighting rig. And I could do it, even though that's the one that's in the shot. And you might be able to see it in the... No, you can't see it in camera number two. But this is what I love about this light. First of all, if you're shooting from a table, which a lot of people do, um, it's really hard to get a good light that clamps onto a table. Um, so... I got the ring light because I wanted a light that clamps on the table. Like that. So it's right now it's in front of me and it's pointing at me. But you're going to be wondering, hey, it's a ring light. Aren't you supposed to put the camera in the middle of the ring? Yeah, you should. And it was what it was designed for. And you'd say to yourself, well, if you don't want to put the camera in the middle. And by the way, there is great reasons for putting the camera right in the middle. And, and this is the only of the three that you could do this. So basically you have your, your pole and it's extendable. And then you have your mount in the middle of the ring. So you say with yourself, well, that makes sense. I must have bought it for that reason. Well, I didn't. Um, because as it turns out in this particular setup, uh, I really should take another picture of this. It's really tall. I mean, it's really tall. Like right now I'm looking straight on at my camera and it's to me the most natural way to do a video like this, to talk straight at the camera. The problem with the ring light is the pole is too long. In my opinion, even in its shortest position, I have to look up. Like this is what my, what my head looks like when I'm actually looking at the center of the ring. Now to me, Shooting a video at this angle, looking up at the camera, it doesn't seem practical. Now, I'm sure the reason they did it was because they felt that, well, if, you, you know, if you're putting this above your monitor, it's going to be of a certain height. But they really should have made the lowest position lower. So that's one negative. But here's the reason why I'm saying if you're going to choose only one light to choose this one. So let's assume you, you get past that part. Uh, and you know the height thing and you decide you're just looking for a light and say hey you know what the the key light is two hundred dollars right the ring light is also two hundred dollars and by the way you know, just while I hold this in my hands again so you have a clamp and you have a, a, a the they have like a ball head that you could put on it. It's by the way it's a really cheesy one you could use any ball head but it has a basic quarter 20 at the bottom which is a tripod style mount and that's what's at the end of the pole. And it has the quarter 20 at the top, which they then give you the, the articulating ball head that, to put your camera on or your cell phone or whatever you got. So so here's the thing. Uh, again, the height is not so good as far as I'm concerned. Now, if you are not going to use it in that mode and you were just shopping for a key light, the key light, of course, doesn't have a hole, right? Doesn't have a hole because it's not a ring light. It puts out 2,800 lumens of power, all right? 2,800 lumens of power. And the key light puts out uh, 2,500 lumens. Now, it's not all about numbers because I could tell you that at least at this moment, uh, for the amount of light that's coming on to me right now, I'm going to look at the uh, control center. And by the way, I should mention, this is the control center. It's a little app from Elgato and you see this little slider here that's the percentage of light and right now it says oh it's in the 20s like it's about yeah 21 like this is what the light looks like at 20 percent so back to the original thing one of them is 2500 lumens and the other one is 2800 lumens so if you get the ring light you only get 2500 you are not going to go anywhere past like 50 percent if you're clo this close i mean look at 100 percent. it's ridiculous so if i put myself around 20 some odd percent right i look natural i look naturally lit and the top thing here and this is app controllable lets me control the warmth of the light whether i want to look warm or cold or somewhere in between and I could fiddle with both and get just the right look. And that is the essence of why I choose an Elgato light 
instead of another type of light. Because I have lots of lights. And I'm going to talk about some of those in future videos. But I have a lot of lights. But I hate having to fiddle with them because I am what you would call, and possibly like you, uh, a self creator. I have no staff. I have no people to adjust the lights while I'm on it. When I'm shooting, I'm staring at my camera. And while I'm sitting here, I want to adjust them. But I really can't do that with a lot of these other lights. Some of them have some sort of a wacky remote. And that's kind of awkward. I love the idea of controlling my lights from my iPad or my phone. Now, in the case uh, right now, you're seeing one of them. And I could turn the whole thing off with one button. Now, that doesn't look right, right? But I turn it right back on. And the whole thing is controlled through Wi-Fi. So you join your network and you attach your lights. Now, some people might say, hey, that's awkward. Why just rather do it by, by hand? Back to reason number two, that if you're going to choose only one light, you might want to consider the ring light instead of the key light. So the key light, $200, goes up to 2,800 lumens. The ring light goes to 25. The size of the ring light, you could see from the box, is physically big. So it's spreading that light out nicely, that 2,500 max. But again, you just saw I was like 20-something percent, which is all I need at this distance, right? So I have my 25 percent. So in that case, the amount of power won't matter. And that brings us to number three. Number three is the Key Light Air, which has only 1,400 uh, lumens. And 1,400 lumens is, is also, even though that's 50% of the power on, let's say, the key light, 50% of the power would be about, uh, well, well, do the math. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's already 50% of the power, but I'm not going more than like 25%. So I would take the key light air, which is only $129, and I could use that. And it has the shorter pole. So again, back again. So, hey, this is what you're doing. Why would you choose the key light? So if you're going to, the ring light. So if you're going to choose the one light and you're not necessarily going to put the camera in the middle, what's the other reason for you, for maybe getting this one? All right. So again, first things first, if you're going to use it by itself and you're going to get a key light, you could, you could with, with the ring light, again, you can get the 2,500 uh, lumens and you're not going to go anywhere near that, but you can also control, oops. <laughs> You can also control it with buttons right on the light. It's the only one of the three that actually has a physical button. You can control that. Now, there's another way to control the, the color temperature. I think you hold it down or something like that. So the point there is with the ring light, you get, you could use it as a key light. That's my point. You could use the ring light as a key light, raise it up high the way you normally would. And it's always high, as I mentioned before, your camera is too high to me to do, to do it that way. So you get the ability to put your camera in the center if you want to, right? You get the physical buttons if you'd rather use them instead of the app. But I love using the app, so that's not really a game changer to me. And if, you know, and it comes with that great desk mount, very similar to this. But there are differences. And that's what we're going to talk a little bit more around. So if you're still sticking with me, let's get into the second box here. Hey, it's sort of an unboxing. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't unbox them in there, but I did. So what else is different about a key light as compared to the ring light? Now, one thing I could tell you, again, I've taken it out of the box already, uh, is that it also has a... Uh, a and it's physically big, but it is nowhere near as big as the ring. And, oh, I can't. I thought the second camera would do that. It's not as big as the ring. It's good to be big when you're using a key light because the bigger it is, you're like, you ever see those big, like, umbrellas that people use? The umbrellas are, you know, they help disperse the light over an area. Now, in both of these lights, and I'm going to readjust my light from my iPad because I fiddled with the buttons before. So I'm going to bring that up just a little bit. So, um... So the point is, this is physically big. I mean, it's bigger than my head, right? It's bigger than my head. It's a big light, and it's heavy. It's very heavy. I have to tell you, this is physically heavy. It's heavy duty. It feels like it's going to last you forever. I mean, it's really, really well made. It has the same kind of buttons. And by the way, the button that it has is uh, it's sort of a pseudo-electronic uh, and pseudo-physical so when you click it in one direction, it locks in place, and then it stays in that position. Uh, so at that point, once you're paired with your app, you can turn it on and off with the app. Oh, and by the way, I have a, the, the other thing I have is an Elgato Stream Deck. So I have a lot of Elgato stuff to talk about on the channel. I have the Elgato 4K Capture card. 
I've got the uh, I've got the collapsible screen. I've got all three lights. I went all in on this Elgato thing. So when you put it in that mode where you can basically turn it on and off, uh, you could leave the switch in that position and then continually just turn it on and off with either your Stream Deck, your iPhone, your Android, or um, the the app in my case on the iPad, which is what I prefer. So there's 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 one thing. Now the the other thing that's kind of interesting is this is the pole that comes with the key light. It's physically bigger. Meanwhile, I've already complained the other one's too big, but it's too big because it's a ring light. But as a key light, you want it higher. So this actually goes up a lot higher. I mean, an awful lot higher because it's actually a three-segmented pole. And the segments are huge. Like right now, from the desk where it is right now, it's, 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 <laughs> it's way up there, right? It's a really, really long pole. So the, it has the largest pole. Now you'd say to yourself, well, why would you need something to be that big if it's already clamping on your desk, which means it's already like three feet off the ground? Well, the reason they do that is they make another option that you can actually put a little uh, metal weight on it, like a microphone stand, and then you could put it on the floor and then you can keep it at that height. All these parts, by the way, at least between these two, are interchangeable. The third one, the key light air, the parts aren't interchangeable. Kind of a thing you gotta deal with. For some reason, they chose a different mounting system with a base and it doesn't, they're not interchangeable poles. I would really love to see the pole on the ring, again, shorter than it is. Uh, this is the, uh, the panel for the, uh, key light. So again, the first position is you can lock it in and it stays on. These panels, by the way, have a very hard, it's like a lucite plasticky middle part. The lights are not in the middle, all right? The lights are edge lit and you don't see the lights per se, but you see the effects of the lights. Now, why is that important? I have, I guess I could pull one into the shot. I have one of those big LED panels. Actually, I have five of them. I have these other LED panels where there's like you know, two or 300 lights inside of the panel and you just aim them at you. But the one thing about that is I've always felt uncomfortable with those kind of pointed at me and, and the uh, Elgato lights, because they're not directly pointing at you. I mean, it sounds weird because they're this big and they're just bright when they're lit up, but they don't feel like there's fatigue on your eyes when you're using them. And that's the other subtle thing about, well, oh, why are these lights so expensive? And again, for professional people, they may seem inexpensive considering what they do. This mounting system is at least $50 if you were to buy it on its own. So right there, you have the $50. The fact that the lights have um, newer technology, they call it, what do they call it? Osrams. Osrams. It, it doesn't matter what Osram means, but Osram, that's what they call it, an Osram light LED. It's sort of like, I don't know, it, 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 it less fatigue better refresh rates. I, I, I'm not that technical, but they look good and they don't give me the same kind of fatigue as some of the other ones. I'm just fiddling with this, by the way. I can bring myself a little warmer if I want. I can do that. So, so again, so bigger, heavier, um, you know, and in this particular case, also controllable through the app. Now, I think in my case, I also want the ring light because I have a booth. And in that particular case, I might actually use the camera in the middle with the GoPro, but it's kind of awkward. I don't want to have to look up, but I stand up in the booth. So maybe it won't be so bad. All right. So that brings us to key light air. Um, in fact, I don't, I don't know that I could necessarily need to unbox it. Um, although it is shorter. Um, maybe I'll do that <laughs> and then I'll edit that part out. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. So so the point there is if you are going to have to buy one of them, you, you definitely don't need 25 or 2,800 lumens of light for the typical video of this type. 1,400 is plenty. In fact, if you wanted to, you could buy two of these and you'd have lighting on both sides. I do have a little bit of lighting on my side here. I guess I should point that out. I could turn that one off and show you, you know, what happens if you don't have proper lighting. Oh, I, I hate, I'm using a, an off-brand one for the other one. And this is the kind of nonsense I don't like to fiddle with. Uh, see, this is another thing. See, you buy some of these other ones and they don't work as well as the Elgato ones. The Elgato ones are nice. They work. Like I'm pushing the button and this one was not going on when I wanted to. And maybe it's me. Maybe it's the wires loose. I don't know. It's just like, 
you know, when you get something, you want it to work a certain way, right? And it, <laughs> this is why I can't keep buying the inexpensive stuff if I'm going to take this stuff seriously. Like right now, I can't figure out why that thing's not going on. It's lit up. Oh, there. <laughs> I got it to work. So you want to have something that's reliable. Elgato makes products for people who do YouTube and do streaming and Twitch and all these other platforms. They're kind of becoming like the, I don't know, the, the Cadillac of this, of this industry. If you want to take this stuff seriously, yes, you don't need to spend a lot of money. We're going to do some videos in the near future on some other types of lighting, some inexpensive types. But I have to tell you, this isn't too bad. The price to, to control three high quality lights. And again, in summary, I, I warned you, I brought you a summary first. If you had to choose one and you're spending about 200 bucks, you have a key light and you don't have the mechanical buttons. Um, you could use the ring light as a key light. It's It's got 2,500 lumens. It's going to give you great light and it's going to let you control the temperature of it. You could use all the other features of uh, the stream deck and all the other stuff and to me I, I think that tips the scales the key light is what came out first the key light air came out second um possibly because people just wanted a second light and maybe because a lot of people realized they never needed anywhere near 2800 so the 1400 lumens is probably all you need um and then when the ring light came out, it, it kind of like, hey, you could put your camera in the middle. And again, I wish they fixed that. Maybe they will come out with a shorter pole that you could buy as an accessory. Um, but use it as a key light. Who says? Because it says it's a it's a ring light that you have to put your camera in the middle. So if you're in the market for the key light, my opinion, buy the ring light anyway and mount it just like you would with the um the key light uh there is one other thing some people do or don't like about ring lights i should mention that you're looking at my eyes right now and some people love the effect of a round light on the eyeballs and some people hate it um you're looking at them oh and and i should mention some people say hey don't buy one of those if you're wearing glasses and hey this is what it looks like if you're wearing glasses um, some people complain that they see the ring in the, in the, uh, in the glasses and that there's some conspiracy. I've actually read some posts where people have a conspiracy saying, well, you notice they never show anyone wearing glasses in the Elgato videos because those rings look terrible. Well, maybe they might in some people's opinion. Um, I don't see it. Um, yeah, if I move a certain way, I guess you could, uh, and it might even be this other one. It's all about positioning here. Um, I'm using the ring light like a key light it's it's above me it's out of the picture it's there it's it's actually at its lowest setting right now and again <laughs> that's where the camera would be right up there and it would be pointing down at me so i made this video longer than i need to and i apologize but i hope this is at least useful hopefully you got some opinion out of this i'm gonna take deeper dives into individual pieces of this after i get them all unboxed and i kind of use them for a little while but i have to just tell you right now as simple as it is if you're on the fence about whether you get an Elgato product or a third-party product, it's it's worth it. I really feel it's worth it. They're, they, the ability to control it while I'm sitting down, looking at myself, and then making adjustments in real time is, is, is fantastic. I love that. And again, this works beautifully for 200 and so does the ring. Treat the ring that way. You're going to get all the light you need. You're not going to go to a 2800. It doesn't need to go to 11, so to speak. And that's my opinion. Hopefully uh, you found it useful. I love comments, by the way. If you have a comment, leave it. Thumbs up and all the other stuff is great, but I love comments. I, I, I honestly do try to respond to everyone who writes me. So if you got something to say, if you have an opinion, you want me to try it under different conditions, hey, go right ahead. I'm going to try these out inside of my booth, which is another thing. If, if you're following my channel, I have a whisper room recording booth where I can record different microphones and like do a lot of microphone testing on my channel. So I'll be doing some stuff finally in the booth where I get the right lighting. So stick around, join the channel if you haven't. I'm going to explore a whole bunch of things I usually don't explore, but hopefully it's fun. I have fun with this stuff and that's why I do it. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a great one. Well, that's the end of another great video, or at least I, maybe it wasn't great. Maybe it was pretty good. And if it wasn't really pretty good, it was probably good enough to say it's worth a subscribe.
and a thumbs up and comment. And when you subscribe, don't forget to hit the little bell. You know, you want to do that so you get notified. But if you subscribe, I promise you, some of my videos won't suck. Just get my act together sometimes. That's what it, that's the trick. Get this one in this position, right? And then pull out this one. Oh no, oh God, I keep doing that. Really? Stand them up against each other, it wouldn't fall on the floor. Oh, for goodness sakes. Oh boy, for goodness sakes. Good. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is almost going to work, right? Wow, look at that. I'm in the shot now. <laughs> hey, is this thing recording? My earbuds falling out. This is not an easy thing to do. I got really want to work on this sort of thing. Really? Now I adjust it? Well, I'm already recording. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the magic of making films. Oh, there I go. All right, hey. <laughs> All right. Hey.